do sorcerers really use straight up magic? Or is there something beyond the rabbit in that hat? Science Behind Doctor Strange Doctor Strange has always been one of the most inventive Marvel characters of all time, and this has only been reinforced with the arrival of his new movie, which, in my review, I said may be the best superhero movie I have ever seen. But that's neither here nor there. It's a little late, but just in time for its second weekend run. We're going to take a look at the magic in Doctor Strange and see how this magic works on a scientific scale. Perhaps the most popular form of magic we see in Doctor Strange is this weird, reality-bending type movement. It's weird too because no normal people see this occurring. Why this is doesn't exactly have a scientific explanation, nor does why only specific individuals can see it. It's just that way because of the way that universe works, I guess. Maybe it's something to do with how reality is manipulated in this way. Those who know how to do it also know how to physically avoid it, while everyone else doesn't see the changes because they're part of what's being manipulated. But I'm going off on a tangent. What allows this kind of weird manipulation to take place? Well, before we go there, we have to define a few things. This kind of reality manipulation isn't the only kind of magic we see in Doctor Strange. We also see these odd shields and images made out of what appears to be energy varying in heat, since we see here that some of it sparks and some don't. We also see time reversal, which I'll probably dedicate a whole video to, and travel between universes within an established multiverse. That's a lot of magic to go over, huh? Well, maybe not. See, the way all this magic works all has one unifying characteristic. When the magic is in use, it's not Harry Potter stuff where a beam of light just shoots out. Well, okay, some of it works like that, but that's beside the point. The point is, it all affects the universe around us. Time reversal rewinds the universe, whatever this is moves it around in a chosen manner, and multiverse travel sends things in and out of our universe. This may sound like a wide range of stuff, but really it's not. There's one thing that many theorizes out there that could allow for this kind of thing to happen. Anyone here ever heard of string theory? String theory states a lot of things, but above all, string theory suggests that there are these tiny, tiny, tiny particles called strings that are the very glue of the entire universe. These strings might be the source of several extra dimensions to our universe that we aren't aware of, which could totally redefine the dimension verse that I mentioned in my Fantastic Four video. However, they could only be accessed by the smallest of life forms to do so with our current technology. This is because, according to string theory, strings are the fabric that make up the blanket that is a universe. They are the smallest bits of the puzzle that exist. String theory suggests that these strings are constantly vibrating, and doing so can cause many universal events to transpire. But what does that have to do with Doctor Strange? Well, look at it like this. If you have a knitting kit and you take a blanket, what could you do with it? The answer is, depending on how much you know about knitting and sewing, anything you want. You can change the color of the blanket, you could reverse the pattern, you could completely dismantle the blanket and make a new one. This is basically how the sorcerers and Doctor Strange are able to manipulate reality. If we're going off of string theory's ideas, then these individuals, for whatever reason, have access to manipulating strings. How do they have access to them? Well, apparently anyone can, it just takes practice. Maybe it has something to do with our biological aura, maybe it has something to do with brain waves, I just don't know. But I think we do have a clear idea of how this magic might really work. Let's go bit by bit here. What's this weird kaleidoscope thing we see going on? Well, it's actually fairly similar to atomic manipulation, which was discussed in one of my previous videos. Except it's more specific than atomic manipulation, since strings are theorized to be much, much smaller than atoms. But it does work in a similar fashion. The way I see it, it's possible that the sorcerers use energy potential in the small vacuums of space around them to reach out to strings and move them around, and hopefully put them back together when they're done. This matches up with the lore of Doctor Strange, I can see that taking a lot of practice. You wouldn't want anyone screwing up reality around you permanently. So how does the movement really occur? There's a number of ways, but the most likely that I see is that it has something to do with the strings moving along with the flow of moved space. Do you know why the moon orbits around the Earth, or why the Earth orbits around the Sun? Well, Einstein theorized that it's because space is like a flat plane that dips and bends around objects in it, like the Sun and the Earth. The reason objects orbit in space is because they're really just rolling along these dips that objects like planets and stars form. If this is true, stuff like this scene could be pretty easily explainable. It's strings being moved around in space so that the space moves and bends and dips with them. What about those shield rune things that the sorcerers use to fight? Or that fire rip they use a lot? 
These are a little more vague because no one's really sure how strings can work regarding energy exertion if they exist. Whether or not these magical weapons are created by different wavelengths of energy produced by strings is altogether debatable. It's certainly got something to do with heat. Another possibility is that these weapons are created by some kind of magnetizing of energy clusters. Picture it like your shield or your whip are made out of paper clips, and the energy binding the weapon together is a magnet that all the paper clips get stuck to. Like I said, I'll probably dedicate an entire video to time reversal, since that is something I don't entirely know how to describe yet. The best I can say right now is that blanket analogy I made earlier. It's like an unraveling and re-raveling of the blanket of the universe. So now we come to the most visually stunning form of magic in Doctor Strange, multiverse travel. This of course is going off the notion that a multiverse even exists. But if it does, strings play a big part in the key to traveling between universes. If you go to my Flash video, you'll see quite a few people in the comments that point out how the Flash vibrates so fast that he travels between universes and dimensions. This is actually something that string theory suggests, that the vibration of strings can cause space to fold, creating a sort of shortcut between two locations, some of those locations residing in different universes or dimensions. It's best explained by this video, which I will link in the description along with two of the sources I read on. Imagine that universe blanket I discussed earlier only being one of many blankets in a whole infinite blanket store. I know it sounds weird, but that's sort of how the multiverse would function. Now, imagine being powerful enough to move an entire blanket close to another one to be able to possibly use a vacuum's energy potential to travel between the two. Now, that would require a lot of power to even just send one blanket to another. And that actually makes sense. Out of everyone in the Doctor Strange movie who possessed magic, only the Ancient One and Dormammu were able to move people or themselves through universes, and even move entire universes into other ones the two most powerful characters in the movie, the masters of magic. Remember that scene where Dormammu is seeping through to our universe? Watch that video I mentioned and keep your ears open because one thing mentioned in there is pretty much spot on with Dormammu's moving process. The blankets are moved closer to each other to either create one out of the two or to send someone between the blankets. Blankets still means universes, by the way. So as far as I can see, the magic presented in Doctor Strange works off of string theory. It's a matter of moving these strings around to warp, travel through, and even reverse reality. But keep in mind, string theory is just that, a theory. It hasn't been 100% proven or accepted. It might be a long time before you can go tell Dormammu you've come to bargain.